my name is Lauren and in this video you're going to fly with me on Lufthansa's Boeing 747 with service from Houston to Frankfurt in business class. In Houston I didn't have any time to check out the lounge which with my ticket I would have been able to but I didn't. My flight from Memphis got in at 1.40 and this flight departed at 3.45 so I had to sprint to the international terminal. Maybe it wasn't this dramatic but I just don't remember having any downtime in Houston. This was my first time ever riding in a plane that had an upper deck, so of course when I booked my seat, I had to sit up there. For this plane, the upper deck is business class only, which I really liked. It felt a lot more private and not as crowded. Here is me walking down the aisle to find my seat for the next nine and a half hours at C83K. Before I get comfortable, here's a quick look at my seat business in the upper deck is a 2-2 configuration not sure about downstairs there was a galley behind me so that was kind of nice the lady that was supposed to sit next to me moved up a row to sit closer to her kids so i had this row entirely to myself and i was so happy this meant filming guilt free right here is a comforter like blanket and a nice i guess full-size pillow in the armrest, you have the seat controls that makes it turn into a bed. When you open it up, you have the remote control for the entertainment system that I eventually figure out how to pop up and a table. Right here is a mattress pad when you're ready to turn your chair into a bed. While I was filming, a pre-departure drink came by of orange juice or champagne. That was a reading light and now I'm just showing you guys how the monitor can adjust to whatever angle you want. Here in this pocket is a water bottle. In this pocket, you also have an amenity kit, which we will check out later. Let's get into this locker under the window. When I tell y'all it was huge, it was huge. I could fit my entire laptop bag in there. And as you see, I had plenty of room to fit anything else that I wanted to store away for the flight. While I was filming, a flight attendant came around and handed out sleeping shirts to everyone. Now let's get into this menu. This was giving us pre-departure, so we had plenty of time to pick what we wanted. It came in French, English, and German, so that was nice. And if you're into wines and all of that, I don't drink, but it seemed like they had a wide selection of wines and alcoholic beverages. And just like that, now we are taking off and on our way to Frankfurt. Earlier, I couldn't figure out how to get the remote control off of this, so I finally figured that out, and now we can check out more of the entertainment options. I will say they had a wide variety of options, a lot of international options. I end up going with Silicon Valley for a majority of this flight, but as you can see, they had a lot of other options as well. In this compartment where the remote control goes, there also is a USB plug where I charged my phone and these nifty noise canceling headphones that I ended up using majority of the flight. When I tell y'all they made a big difference, to me airplanes are always noisy so these really helped me not feel like it was so loud in there. Right here is the tray table and as you see I'm kind of struggling but it was pretty big. I mean it was, it was decent. Now let's check out this amenity kit. It is by Porsche Design. We have a lotion, a mint, this is chapstick, a toothbrush and toothpaste. These are earphone covers for the headphones, so that's sanitary. A cloth wipe and socks. This is everything just laid out in your neat little case and all that stuff. Backing up to the entertainment system again, as you can see, they had audiobooks, podcasts, games, and other stuff. 
I ended up, like I said, watching Silicon Valley most of the flight, but I did check out this in-flight camera, which kind of showed you a back view of the plane, and I thought that was really cool. As you can see, there is plenty of leg room here, so you're not lacking on that. I myself am about six feet tall, so when I tell you guys I had plenty of room, there was plenty of room and the seat wasn't even reclined yet. Now I'm just showing you guys the seat controls and how there's plenty of options on how you can adjust that from laying all the way back to just sitting a little bit back. Once we got to cruising altitude, they brought around these hot towels. They were scented with lemon citrus something. I don't know, but I loved every second of that. There was some type of turbulence, so the captains had to delay the food service starting. So in the meantime, I just finalized what I wanted to watch. And I forgot to mention they had like Wakanda Forever and the new Avatar as well. They did have some good options. Once they were able to start the food service, they came around and brought these nuts and asked us our choice of beverage. I got still water and this mango passion fruit juice. For the appetizer, I ended up getting the smoked duck breast and cherry relish with a cucumber salad. And y'all, I've never had duck before, but that was so flavorful. I love the cherry relish. They brought around bread and it was okay. I thought it was going to be like the Cheesecake Factory, but it wasn't. It was a little more bitter and honestly, I didn't really like it, but that's okay. For the main course, I got the grilled beef filet with burgundy sauce. I probably pronounced that wrong, I'm sorry. When I saw them walking up the aisle with the cart, my mouth was watering. Like the beef seemed a little tough, but once I got it going and was able to cut it, it was so flavorful. I didn't even know airplane food could be this well seasoned and taste this good. The green beans were also really good. That sauce was rich, but not overpowering. And that fried tomato thing, I don't know what it was called, was also really tasty. For dessert, I got the cheese plate, and I will say my favorite was the goat cheese. It was rich and creamy and a tad bit sweet. I did ask the flight attendant if they had any more chocolate cake, and she said, we'll see. So I'm guessing they didn't, because she never got back to me, but that's okay, because they did come around and give out these chocolates, which were a really good nightcap on dinner. Right here, I'm just showing you all the seat as I lay it back. I'm about to turn it into a bed, so I'm setting up the mattress pad and the pillows and blanket. And honestly, as far as sleep, I did not get a lot of sleep because I just, I don't know, I couldn't shake the turbulence or something. My brain was just not working with me, but I feel like I could have gotten good sleep. I just didn't, but the chair was very comfortable. All right, time to check out the restroom. And honestly, it was nothing special. It was decently kept, not amazingly kept. It was kind of got dirty in between, but whatever. The full mirror was nice, so I guess now time to do this transition because why not? I put on the sleep shirt and some soft pants that I had in my carry-on. They did have little amenities like mouthwash and some lotion there. And those other things were like eye masks. So now it's time to brush, 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 and then head back to our seat. This is me trying to talk to the camera vlog style, even though I was talking way too low for it to be loud in the airplane. I was just saying how I'm comfortable and now my feet are kicked up and I'm gonna relax. This is what it looks like right before they cut the lights out for everyone to be able to sleep. 
I woke up about two hours before landing. I used the bathroom and changed clothes. This is when they started to have the lights gradually come back on. They came around with another hot towel and then breakfast came. I grabbed the overnight oats. It was surprisingly very good. The mango tasted really fresh and I also got coffee that was good and it wasn't too bitter and I didn't need too much sugar either. For the rest of the flight, I just kicked back, relaxed, and watched more Silicon Valley, which apparently is my new favorite show. This experience definitely made me look at Lufthansa way differently. The first time I flew Lufthansa was economy from Dubai to Frankfurt, and I hated every second of it because, I mean, it's economy on a long haul flight. What can I expect? But this was amazing. Out of the three airlines I've flown, which would be Lufthansa, Swiss, and United for business class international flights, Lufthansa is by far my favorite, so I would not be scared about booking with them and actually would look forward to it. And just like that, nine and a half hours later, we are arriving in Frankfurt. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this review helps and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because this is not the end of my journey. I actually end up going all the way to Delhi so there will be another flight review coming and of course I'll review the long haul flight that I took through United for 15 hours from Delhi to Newark. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out my India vlog. Eventually at some point I'll get it up. I hope this review helps and I'll see you guys in my next video.